36 years ago, China sent something into space that would change the world forever. Space seeds. Beyond the ozone layer, space gradually loses gravity, magnetic field, air, and environmental pressure, as a result, it receives large quantities of cosmic radiation, the effects of which still are not understood. If humans are to explore beyond the realms of our solar system, growing crops in space is one of the major directions we need to head. For us to survive in space for a long time, it is necessary to ensure that plants can complete the alternation of generations and successfully reproduce in space. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Since the beginning of space exploration, researchers have been exploring the role of microgravity, cosmic radiation, and other aspects of the space environment on plant growth and development. To create superior crop varieties and achieve noticeable success in the space environment, several types of research have been conducted so far. And China has been engaged in space breeding for decades, starting in the 1980s using its recoverable Shijian spacecraft. Space-grown plants have been exposed to cosmic radiation and microgravity, which has led to the generation of crop varieties with diverse genotypes and phenotypes, arising from different cellular, subcellular, genomic, chromosomal, and biochemical changes. It was in 1987, when China sent its first crop seeds into space, marking the start of the country's journey in space breeding. Over the past 30 years, it has conducted over 30 such space experiments involving plant seeds, seedlings, and strains, resulting in the cultivation of almost 1,000 new varieties. In order to obtain improved variants of a crop in outer space, multiple types of research have been conducted so far. Space-grown plants have been exposed to cosmic radiation and microgravity, which in turn has led to development of crop varieties with diverse chemical and biological changes. The damage done to DNA and changes on a chromosomal level due to cosmic radiation are a major cause for genetic polymorphism, leading to the genesis of mutated crops. And no, you won't get superpowers if you consume them. Instead these mutations will lead the next generation crop varieties capable of surviving diverse environmental conditions and higher yield. Rice, the crop that feeds nearly half of the world's population, is considered to be a major candidate for the life support system in future manned deep space exploration. It was recently reported that China harvested the first batch of rice that it is calling space rice or rice from heaven. The typical yield of rice cultivation in China is 400 to 600 kilograms per hectare, but the new type of rice seeds grown from those flown on board the Chang'e 5 mission in 2020 have an average output of more than 800 kilograms per hectare. And it's not only rice seeds China has sent into space, cultivation has ranged from staple foods to vegetable crops such as wheat, corn, pepper and tomato among 66 mutant crop varieties. The Anongto 1 spacebread type is bigger and has a greater aroma than regular morel mushrooms. According to projections, this year's output might approach 480 kg per hectare, a significant increase above standard types, which typically yield 150 to 200 kilograms per hectare. A researcher from Kunming Institute of Botany has said, the mushroom that survives a space trip smells even better. According to experts, China may also work with other nations to increase food production, particularly in Africa and Latin America, where domestic food resources are limited. They emphasize that China can assist them in breeding indigenous crops to boost productivity, resistance to pests and diseases, and defense capacities through space breeding, which is also the country's way of shouldering its responsibility as a responsible global power. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.